But what do you think of the idea to go ahead and show off the American might, perhaps even down Pennsylvania Avenue? Well, the French march well. We fight well. Take your pick. If we really want to honor our troops and support them, pass the defense budget. Give them the tools and the funding they need. You know, the, I understand the president can be infatuated with the, the re, military regalia and trappings. It, they're, it's very seductive. But we have a different tradition here. When we do have military parades, we do honor the troops. It focuses on the human element, not heavy metal war machines rolling down the streets of American cities. And by the way, Bill, on a very practical level, if you want to stage a huge parade, you are taking troops away from their training, just throwing away the training schedules. It's expensive. The money can be better spent elsewhere. So if the president wants a parade, he'll get a parade. Got it. But if we're going to have one, I would concentrate on the human factor, let, 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 not tanks let, 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 Let's do it all. Let, let me just shift the focus for that comment there, and I appreciate what you're saying there. If you watch the other members of the media reporting this story, you know what they talk about? Hey, do you know where they have military parades? Moscow and North Korea, suggesting that that's the whole idea. The, the idea came from the French last year. Let, 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 let's be honest. Let, let's be fair about it, Colonel. Well, of course we're going to be fair about it, but, you know, they're, they're right that the people that parade weapons are the North Koreans, are, are the, the Russians. And, you know, to us, this is, I, I'm very, this, is Bill, not, I'm, this is not to parade weapons as if it's some sort of offensive gesture, Colonel. This, well, is, red, this not, is red, white, and blue. Right. Bill, I've served in the military for almost 22 years, enlisted man and officer. And let me tell you... Um, I value our tradition of civilian control of the military, the military being representative of our society, not apart from it. And look, we all have our views, and, there, and, and contra contradictory reviews uh, or views can, can be equally valid. But I will tell you two things. One, as a former soldier, I don't like the image of heavy weapons parading through our streets, the streets of American cities. And two, look, when I was a buck sergeant or an enlisted man, and I heard there was going to be a parade, I just uh, rolled my eyes because we were going to throw the training schedules out the window and everything was going to stop until the parade was no, over. Let's see if it happens. Colonel, if it does, we'll bring you on back and we'll debate it even more.